During that first summer after Kenji's death, Benny slept a lot and was more subdued than normal. But he never seemed to want or need to talk about his feelings in spite of his mother's encouragement to do so. Sometimes, on the brink of sleep, he thought he heard his father's voice calling to him, jolting him awake again. But since nothing more ever happened, he never mentioned it. The following fall, his seventh grade homeroom teacher reported some issues with focus and attention, but the school counselor had been very supportive. She'd scheduled regular sessions with him and said she thought that the difficulties he was experiencing were a normal part of the grieving process. Grief, she said, was personal and expressed itself in many ways. This sounded right to Annabelle, and she was relieved when the counselor said they didn't need to start thinking about medication unless the problems got worse.